Hey everyone, hope everybody's having a good Saturday. I'm really excited about today's video uh, because I'm going to actually try to weld some aluminum. And I've never welded aluminum with this machine and it's been a long time since I've welded aluminum period and that was with a spool gun when I did probably 10 or 15 years ago. So it'll be uh, a new experience with my little Alpha TIG machine. So I'm going to set it up and uh, have you guys right along with me as I make the settings and lay down a little bead. So I'll show you guys what I got going here on what I'm going to weld. So uh, we had uh, purchased a golf cart not long ago and the this little bracket comes down and holds the brakes. It's like the e-brakes on a car where uh, each wheel has a cable and a little housing that comes from each side and comes through here and then it's got these little snap ring retainers here. This was welded on to a big L bracket on the bottom of the cart. Um, so I decided to just uh, grind that off and so my plan is you can see right here what happened this side was bent over and broken so it was only using one side and this hole here is for the return spring so what I'm going to do is uh, use this piece for right here and then I'm going to weld uh, this bracket onto here and then just bolt this to the existing piece I left behind um, I'm going to take this down and drill these out and uh, bring it back when I'm done uh, last time I took you guys along for the drill press um, it made the camera shake all over the place so I'm just gonna go down and do this and I'll bring this back up and then I'll cut that off and then we'll set the machine up all right I'll be right back okay so here's my piece uh, well, I was really impressed with this drill bit I just ordered it through Amazon a 9 16 that's what these holes were here and it just I put a little cutting uh, compound on there and it just went through this like really nice so I'm just gonna use this one here as my template and uh, gonna make these little uh, marks these openings right here just using this and then I'll take the cutoff wheel and uh, cut those openings out so I'm just gonna use this one You know, I'll just make those lines disappear and that should be about what this is set up to be the same size here just as long as I can get the uh, uh, the cable to go through that hole so I'm just going to go ahead and cut those out Okay, so I decided to do this a little bit different here. I didn't like the way those marks were coming off, so I'm going to use the uh, micrometer here, and I'm just going to measure that, and then I'm just going to scribe some marks on these like so. And then I can see those real good here, so I'll just come by then and make my marks like this then I know they're I'll just make these lines disappear that should be fine a little bit more right I'll just make those lines disappear and that should be just right and I think we're gonna use this guy What do you say there, rat? A little bit of safety gear. He's ready. He's got his mask and his glasses on. He's always telling me to be safe. So I think I'll take his uh, word for it here.
about that. Just gonna cut this guy off of here and uh, come back set the welder up. Okay, so this is how I'm gonna set the welder up at. I'm gonna go ahead and set this current to AC. I'm gonna leave it on straight here, 2T. Then I'm gonna run about, well, let's see, these amps up here don't really count. Uh, the main amps I'm gonna run at 150. I'm gonna set my uh, frequency alternating current at about 80 and then I'm going to run the uh, AC balance at 25 now this may be opposite on some machines this may be 75 I know on this machine I don't want to have 75 or I'd be toasting the metal so I'm going to run this at 25 and then my post flow is going to be at about uh, seven seconds and I'm going to run about uh, 15 CHF, uh, let's see, per hour, FH. Okay, you guys know what I mean. <laughs> I'm going to turn the machine on now and get ready to do it for the very first time. Okay, one more thing I wanted to add was that I'm using a 2% lanthanated 332nd tungsten, and I've just put a little bit of a point on it because it should ball up anyways with the AC and also a aluminum rod of 40 43 330 seconds as well so I'm gonna first try to just make a little tack on here to hold this together hopefully I'm gonna ground it over here and hopefully that'll be good a good ground here little third hand they're really handy okay here we go this is it guys right now Well, that got hot quick. Well, yeah, I don't know. It definitely put a little tack on there, but I don't know how good that's going to be. I don't even know if I was grounded that good. Let's try to ground it a little bit better here. Uh, much better. I think it liked the ground. See if you guys can see that. So now that I've got it just touching a little bit there. Try to keep this as clean as I can here. might get away with not even running a filler filler rod in this guy. You might be able to just run a bead across there and see how she looks. You guys get a good view of that? I'm just going to pull this towards me and see how that works with no filler wire at all. I think I'm going to try some filler wire after all. It's a nice little shiny color. <laughs> 